What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Philadelphia Flyers and as I'm simming along here look what just popped up. Calder Cup champions the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Now that should help out some of the young guns that we have down there. I think we only have like a couple guys really that we're trying to grow so not the best time for us to win this but hey gives us some experience for our younger guys maybe we got some future role players down there now who in the future will know what it takes so there you have it and uh we're gonna keep simming along here and um yeah we're gonna get up we're gonna see uh what's it called next it's gonna be the a lot of results so there you can take a quick look at that detroit's got a couple of nice picks in there and san jose's 14th <laughs> uh. all righty um okay now we get to view the retired players all right, so yeah, Dotsuk does he does retire, and then Colin McDonald retires as well. Um, so yeah, I was hoping maybe Dotsuk stuck around another year, but that's a lot to ask for when he's already age thirty nine. Uh, it's very rare for them to stick around. So, so Dotsuk's gone. No goalies retire. Okay, and then we'll check out the entire league as well. It's a bit of I kind of wanted him to stick around, but I, I had a feeling he wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like it's very very rare for them to stick around. Okay, there's Ginla. Sedin on San Jose, apparently. Yeah, that fits their MO. Alright, um... Yeah, you can check out... Not too many huge, huge names. I mean, there's a few, you know, Gabrick, uh... But, I mean, no one who's really still a star at this point. Cronwall, he's, he was up there, you know what I mean? But, uh... Not too many huge, huge names in this year. And I say that, like, not... I don't know. I don't know what I'm telling... Like, it's nothing, like, too... Like, I've seen weirder stuff happen sometimes in these earlier years. Alrighty, um, goalies, uh, Luongo retires, okay, and then Longfist, oh, Longfist retires, ah, I don't like that, man, he should stick around, like, Luongo kind of makes a bit sense, he is already starting to drop off, he's 39 too, but Luong, like, Longfist is still 36, he's still 90 overall, man, let him play, alright, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there, okay, so there you have all the, uh, retirements here, and now comes the draft, and we're going to see uh, what we got to work with here. Bit unfortunate, man. We're going to have a late pick. Chicago wins the cup. Yeah, whoop de doo um, It's like, ah, that was such a rough loss, man. But it happens. We, and we, we didn't even lose to the uh, future Stanley Cup champs either. So we're going to have like the 28th. Yeah, 28th pick here. All right. Um... Uh, okay, they already chose. <laughs> they chose really quick, and it's uh, yeah, green top not top six power forward. Yeah, um, I think we should just take our picks because I remember these. These uh, this draft year is not that strong as you can see right there. I want to see. I'm, I'm just gonna check what our uh, what picks we have though, just so I could see if I want to move any picks for players at this point. But I don't know. We have a lot of thirds. We could always shift some of these and move up. Hold on, let me let me do some scouting here. They got Debrink out on the block. Did you see that crap? Oh, that yeah, that's that's one. He should have had a great freaking year in the AHL because of that Calder Cup. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is oh yeah, this is the year Ty Smith. Oh, Joe Valeno's here as well. Ty Smith. We already have so many good defensemen though. Yeah. Oh yeah, because okay, so Valeno's an elite. Ty Smith is a green top four. This guy's a green top six, and this guy probably a green top nine. So this is absolute trash year. Dolan in there gets pretty good, but again, it's another goalie, and I don't know about anyone else. So if we we're gonna move up, I move up to get Valeno, and that's pretty much it. We don't need defensemen. We're pretty stacked on the defensive end, to be honest. We don't even need any of these guys. So uh, let me just—I would trade honestly for players. <laughs> like uh, this, none of this is really good. Like, after the first round, it's all pretty weak sauce, as I remember. I mean, I could check into the third round what they'll be, but... Yeah, I... I'm thinking it's not going to be too strong. Like, will Valeno go right here, probably? No, still not. Uh, they want to give us Neuverth. Oh, no, they want Neuverth for a third. No, um... I don't want to pin... No, I don't want picks for Neuverth. I'd want... I want to choose that. So, okay, that's what went first. Joe Valeno should be in here somewhere. I don't really want to pick... Uh, I could, but I mean... I mean, we already have Konechny. Do they want... Well, is anyone going to give up a pick? I mean, we have the assets to move up. It's not... But, like, yeah, we don't really... I don't think anyone in this top area wants to give up their picks. 
Okay, Buffalo does. Okay, if I sim another pick, will they still want to give up that pick, though? That's the question. And if Valeno doesn't go, but he probably will right here. No, he didn't go. They picked Merkley. So Valeno is still on the table, guys. Do they still want to give up this pick? I could get Valeno. They still want to give up that pick. They probably don't want our picks. I'm not going to give away anything else for it. And he might, he's probably not. I mean, he's. it's pretty rare for that guy to turn out to be amazing. I mean, we got lucky with him in Montreal as we traded for him. But to move up, I mean, I definitely have the assets. Ah, but do we have the value? Really? I would have to give up all these, which I wouldn't be too opposed to. I mean, that's close, but that still doesn't go through. I'd still have to add. I'd have to add in the second, too. Which at this end, this is all this for a player who probably won't turn out to be much. I could try that. I mean, that's so much to give up, though, for a player who probably won't be anything. And I've had Valeno before, and he was really good, and yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling moving up for that. It's He's very hit or miss, I found, in this game. And with my luck, he'll probably be a miss. He still didn't go, man. What the hell? They're skipping on this guy. They're sleeping on Valeno. Now it's like, do I... <laughs> now it's almost like I should just pick him up because everyone's passing on him, and they want to give up these picks. It's like they're handing me, handing me Valeno. I don't know. What, well, if I just did a first and a second, could I get him? Nah, dude. I would still need to give up some of those thirds and stuff. I don't... I almost want to hold on to the second, even though there's no reason to do that. I'm going to have, like, no later picks. But that's that's really okay, because the later picks in these, in these years absolutely are trash. Like, really bad. We got pretty lucky in the last draft to have done that. I mean... Yeah, okay. Oh, Oh, okay, that was a, it was a weird, okay, so it's still, I'd still have to send back something else. So if I did the, <laughs> all we'd be left with would be like a fourth. And almost, I'd almost want to like hold on to Arizona's if I did that. Because Arizona had a pretty decent third, and then we'd have, yeah, an okay third, and then a bad, oh, and then we still have Buffalo's fourth round, which isn't going to be too bad. So we'll still have two decent later round picks if we did all this. To move up for a Valeno, which basically this is that's what this is a, a first, a second, and two thirds to move up for a fucking Valeno. That's yeah, that's no way I'm gonna make this go through. I, I have to throw in that other third. If I could throw in the fourth and keep that third, I'll do that, but I highly doubt it. I'll try it, I'll try everything I can. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not trading any players for the dude, that's what I know. That's so much to give up, but again, these picks are really trash in these years, so screw it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've never I've honestly never seen Valeno drop that far back either. All these guys went before Joe Valeno in this, so fuck this, man. If they're gonna do that, I'll take another chance on him. I mean we we have other good prospects anyway, so even if he doesn't pan out, which again, he's he's very hit or miss, this guy. Um, we got very lucky and got him to a 94, but it's, it's highly doubtful that happens again, but we'll pick him up and we'll give him a shot. Anyway, we, again, we didn't have to give up too much as I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll sim to our next pick and just show you how bad some of these later rounds get. It's either this year or the next year that they're really bad, but fuck man. No, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's both these years that these like second, third, fourth rounds are really terrible. But we'll see. I didn't hold on to that third, but whatever. I didn't want to give up any players. And yeah, like I said, these picks, we don't need to draft too heavily. That's why we gave away a lot of these later picks. So I'll show you guys it's just some of these. I'm pretty sure it's pretty bad. So like this is the third. Yeah, you can see AHLers, AHLers littering all over the place. Bottom sixes. That's the third round, guys. Second round, top nines, green AHLs. Yeah, this is... So you can get lucky and get some top nines in there, but really, do we want that instead of getting a, an elite guy? Sure, there's some decent goalies in there, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see about that first round too. How bad's it get in the first round? There's AHLers in the first round, man. <laughs> so yeah, I would say we did the right thing here. So now we could take our pick here in the fourth round and try to get some kind of a decent role player if there one exists. Now I'm going to look around for someone I have scouted. I say that and then I don't have anyone scouted. <laughs> uh, the exact guys. Okay, shit. Well, I was hoping I would have someone scouted who would be like at least a top nine or something like that. But it's not looking like that's a thing. 
I'm trying to see if it, I can recognize any name in here, but I'm not seeing a name I even recognize, so that's going to suck even more. All right. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. All right. Well, let me... Screw it. Let me search by this. Yeah, I'll do this, actually. Will it go to exact if I do it again? Yeah, it will. All right. Um. Okay. Everyone I have exact is trash. So that sucks. Okay. So let me go back to the other thing. Yeah, none of these guys are really going to be anything that I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see how bad it is. Like, I'll just go back to projected and just randomly pick someone because, yeah, these are terrible freaking years, man. At least this guy looks like he could be... I don't know, man. He still just looks bad. They all look bad. This guy's a righty, though, so... Whatever. Just pick someone, man. They're all going to be trash. He's going to be an AHL. Yeah, man. It's... What the hell? Like, the, these these uh, years are pretty bad. So, there's a 70. I could have got a 70. Yeah, as you can see, man, it's just terrible. So, screw that. Let's... Uh, we're done with this draft. I'm pretty... Pretty happy we traded away the rest of those picks here. So, there you have it. That draft is over. And uh, we picked one player, basically, in Joe Valeno. We traded up for him, and the rest of the players were absolute garbage. But, hey, I can't believe he stayed at, like, I was I was not going to pick him until I saw he dropped to, like, the five slot. Like, I could have got him at, like, oh, yeah, the four. Was it even the three I could have got him at? I think it was just the four. I could have got him at the four. I'm like, no, I'll just let the computers take it. Don't, don't do things you've done in the past. And then he popped up again. I'm like, all right, well, if they're going to hand him to me and make him easy to get, I'll take it. So, there you have it. Big draft right there. We drafted one player that mattered in Joe Valeno, and we'll see how he, we'll see how we can get him to turn out in this one. I don't think it'll be that good to be honest, because literally I've only seen the guy get good once, and that was when we had him in Montreal. So we'll see what happens. You never know. Maybe maybe me and Joe Valeno we got a little uh, chemistry going on. Not in that way, you sick fucks. I can hear you guys in your minds so laughing at me. All right, we got to get Blake Como back. He was boss. I don't have my phone on me, do I? Nope. One sec, guys. All right, so we got to get Blake Como back. He was way too beastly there on that third line, especially in the playoffs. I'm going to give him two years. I don't feel comfortable giving him three years till he's 35. He could drop off pretty heavily. Although the price difference is nice, that's also because he'll probably start to decline. You know what I mean? So let's get him that two years, and uh, we'll see what we can get him for. Let's see. Probably... Whatever we get him for, it's a really good price for a third liner, to be honest. So, right there we can get him for. Maybe have to crank it up a bit because of the years, but whatever. We'll try that. Cousins, hell yeah. You guys, yeah. You guys uh, made me, made me, um, uh, what the hell am I trying to say? You guys converted me, basically. I'm now, I'm now on the Cousins hype train. That guy, him, him and that whole line were fucking beasts in the playoffs. So, Cousins, no longer will you be an AHL guy to boost up our other guys. You are an official Philadelphia Flyer because you proved it. You earned it, man. Hag. Um, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This guy's really good defensively. All right, what kind of deal you want? Three years? Okay, it doesn't look like he grows too much more, and he's listed to be top four. But if it doesn't look like he's going to grow too much more, maybe he chills at a top six, which is kind of what we need him at anyway, so I'm cool with that. I want his defensive stats to get a bit better, like his awareness could get crank up one or two more. Everything else is really good, though. Discipline, it could be higher, but I don't think he took a huge amount of penalties, did he? Eh, no, not really. I mean, 39 and 82 is not that bad. Nah, he's fine. All right, yeah, let's sign Hag. I like him. How long, though? That's the, that's a big question. How long do we get this guy for? Shen's got a couple years left. Ghost to spare. Like, he's not like a guy to sign, like, with a ghost to spare or anything like that. He's more... I'd want to line him up more with, like... No, nah, not even with Jones. That's too long. He doesn't want a bridge deal either. Okay, Lawton. I can line him up with Lawton. He's a kind of Lawton type player. Ball Vell. We're going to have... One year, we're going to have quite a few things to do. Now, Simmons, this might be the year we need to trade the guy because that contract, we're going to have to pay him a shit ton. And he took a lot of penalties. He took a lot of penalties. In the playoffs, he took a lot. Like, not as, not so much in the playoffs. He was fighting in the playoffs, so it felt like. I mean, that's 15 penalty minutes. Or it could be five minors and a fight. Or it could be three fights. You know? So, it's like I'm, I, I'm leaning more towards five minors and a fight. 
but that's still that's a lot man i mean i know we made it to the third round but from a top line guy ah uh, like you know we're gonna have to pay him a shit ton we're gonna have to pay Provorov a shit ton we're gonna have to pay konechny money sanheim probably as well so yeah this might be we might need to trade simmons and try to get something else here so in that case we're not we wouldn't be freeing up too much cap we'd basically just be saving ourselves money for the next year but man yeah we're gonna need a lot okay schuster this is gonna be tough man i want hag but i can't sign him to super super long term he wants three years oh if i crank it down i save a crap ton of money you know what? i could take him year by year i could ah. It is. <laughs> yeah, Boland, I know. All right, so. Yeah, so. Okay, well, we won't really need to worry about it if we trade off. I could do two years, because that's kind of where every all the majors. No, 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 one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not two years, but to line him up with everyone else, I'd have to give him one year. I'm going to do that to play it safe. It's. He needs. A, I need a bridge deal. We all need a bridge deal, so. I can't, I'm not gonna, I can't really give him too much less than that. Like, let's see, I'll crank it up a bit from where it tells me to. Like, it's saying I can get him for 1.4 something, but I'm gonna give him, uh, like, 1.5 flat because I think the years will probably be, he might even not accept that. Like, he still might want more money. But either way, I'd sign it to him because, yeah. We'll need to save as much money as possible on this guy. On everyone, basically. Schultz, I think we can give him up. Yeah, he's 30... 35 he's done he's not even depth anymore so peace yeah he's he's done that he's just gonna drop in that potential oh whoa that potential just gonna drop anyway all right um boyd gordon i think i could do one more year with him he might again he might drop though what kind of a deal does he want i love Boyd. oh yeah dude i can get him for that that's that's super cheap hell yeah you know what? That's if he ends up being depth, that's affordable depth. Delorier, what do you want? He wants a two-way deal. Holy crap! Okay, I can get him for a two-way deal. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do if I can get him for a two-way deal. Hell yeah! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no question about that, man. Let's get Delorier to a two-way deal. And again, if he's only depth, then he's only depth. All right, Campbell, I'd say we could just probably release him. Tennyson, he was a spot filler for our defense. Manning's pissed. Oh, man, there's a lot down here. All right, we'll probably free up some space, but I know we need... Okay, so Stolarz is looking like he's about capped. What kind of deals he want? Yeah, he wants a backup deal. All right, well... So at this point, we'll choose between who's going to start and or who's going to back up. I think we should... I feel like... No, ah. See, the thing is, we uh, we could have a really good backup in Rusu if we, if we train him up. So it's like, Hart is coming up. We could have a good backup in one of these two guys. Stolars, Neuverth, either one of them can go. Ugh. Yeah, we have a few goalie controversies here. I would love to use Stolarz for value. I could tender... Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tender him. Because I'm probably not going to use the guy. To be honest. I'm probably not going to use him. And if I tender him, I could trade his rights at the free agency. If it comes down to that. So we'll, we'll do that. Because I don't want to really sign him. Because I, I don't want to sign the guy to trade him. Because that can hurt player morale across your team. Um, and I think that happens after the reset too. So that would actually be not good because then they'll be hurt going into the season. Um, this Lear guy, he's probably not going to turn out to be much, but those defensive stats are good for a guy we can call up to play fourth line for injury. So he wants a two way deal for a year. We'll give it to him. All righty. Uh, Campbell. Yeah, I'm holding off on that. All right. I got to check our defensive situation. So we got... We got our six, and then, okay. Oh, we, we have more guys now. Some more. Um. Well, these guys were giving away. I mean, that guy could, okay. This guy could play, but eh. All these guys could. Okay, I got to see. 
you know what? I might actually sign a couple of these older guys just to help some guys out, you know? Because we actually don't have any real defensive prospects. Partially my fault not drafting any, but like I, these first couple of years are absolute trash. And we have we have a good defensive core in the NHL, so it's not like we're we're sucking for defense. But it's always good to have some in your system who are growing. But at the same time, we could just sign some of these guys. And we might, they can just play in the AHL. We can sign up for another year. And we could always pick up some other guys. I do want to free up some space though. So some of these guys will go. Like, I think these guys down here are pretty crap. But I don't even think they were signed. So I won't be actually freeing up space. But I'll be saving space. Yeah, these guys are crap. Um, this AHL potential, like, I think there should be some guys. In the so I'm going to release everyone with the AHL potential who's not that great. And then I can hold on to guys like some of these guys to play in the AHL not this guy I could probably release him because green green's ready all right so I can release this guy bye and then we can sign a few of these guys and then look into free agency as well because this guy can play he's still you know he's still signed so it doesn't matter we'll just play him while he's signed this guy he's red seven let me just sign the guy let me just eh, do I want to probably not no <laughs> I still don't want to sign him I should just look in free agency for a few guys to be honest because that is trash like I really don't think he turned out to be anything. And at this point, roster slots, I'm kind of thinking of. And I have to get him for three years. So let me sign some of these guys to one-year deals since they want two-way contracts as well. And they'll just be playing in the AHL anyway. So I'll sign a couple of these guys just to have something to play for us. Uh, what does Manning do? Is he even worth it? Yeah, kind of. He's good enough for AHL. He might, his morale might reset, but he wants a two-way deal right now. So I don't think, I think he's just going to be an HL, which is fine with me. So we have three guys and we have four. We'll have to sign at least one or two more. You know, fuck it. I'll sign this guy, whatever. Red seven. We'll see what he can do. I know it's three years, but whatever, man. We have, we have the space for him to be honest. So let's see what a red seven can turn out to be. And we can still sign if anyone jumps out. I just don't want to have to sign more trash guys when I can at least have potential people growing even if it is only red seven okay let me advance a day here and see what i have to work with before i completely uh confuse myself and uh we gotta see how much money we have left to work with too i didn't i know i didn't sign any major major contracts so we should still have at least a few mil to work with got delorier tennyson okay all these guys <laughs> he's not happy on the team anymore well you're trash, Brandon Manning, to be honest. I was I was trying to be nice to you offering you a contract just because I kind of need someone to slum it up down in the AHL for me. If you're not happy here, that's fine. You can go break some clavicles elsewhere. Where are you at? Uh, Campbell. I think we should just release Campbell. He's not too happy anyway. Takes Took took a lot of penalties. I mean, he's, he'd be okay for depth, but I think he just starts declining at this point, so screw him. We'll find someone better. Oh, Blake Coma. I know. I'm sorry. But, hey, you still got Cousins and all those other guys. Brandon Manning. <laughs> Let me get you back for one year, bud. All righty. Um, who is this? All right. Let me. Uh, okay. So I go past there. I don't know why I'm, I'm, I don't know. I was, I was trying, I was going to think in my head what kind of guy, you know what? This guy's going to be nothing. Yeah. He's already nothing. He's supposed to be a fourth liner for God's sakes. <laughs> I'm going to just say no to that. I'm going to find someone better. Red bottom six, already 24. If you haven't cracked the roster by now, he, it's saying to give him a roll. All right. This guy can go too. Yeah. We'll free up some space. We'll see if we could sign some guys in free agency here. Anyone that we need to sign this guy. He's ready. Let's see. Was Elvinus? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Elvinus is uh, Swedish, so he could actually play on AHL. And he's at yeah. Let's actually sign the dude. I think Papagayev is Canadian. No, he's not. But was he in the? I th no. Th this guy was in the freaking juniors, though. Yeah, I know for a fact that guy was in the juniors. Um, thing is, Elvinus was he in the juniors? I don't know. I'm thinking probably not because he doesn't have a picture. 
So let me sign him and I can play him in the AHL, I think. And then Papagayev doesn't have to be signed because um, he's, a, he's a CHL player, right? That's how it works. So let me, well, we'll see. We'll see. So let me sign Elvinus here. We can get him for almost as low as he, no, not quite. Let's get him there. We'll do Elvinus. And we can start playing the AHL at age 18 or whatever. Um, Cole Lind, I can hold off on him for another year, but I almost, <laughs> he should jump, but he's not going to jump a whole hell of a lot. I should probably just hold off on him for another year because he's, again, another junior player that I don't actually need to sign. So let me just hold off on that. Yeah. Um, this guy's 70 overall already. How is he looking like he's growing? His offensive skills are pretty freaking good. It's just, but he's, you know, if he's got the bottom six, you know what? Screw it. I can play him. I could use him. So we'll try him out. All right. And I think that was pretty much it for all the signings. Yeah, we should. We are actually are going to have a bit of cash to work with. So if we do decide to trade Simmons, we, we can't be like too crazy with it. Like we'd have to get someone with like a year left. And then we'd have to really be nitpicky about salaries in the next year. Or we'd have to get some... Uh, this is going to be tough. And we got Manning back. We got those other guys. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Th next year is going to be a horrible year to sign everyone. Because we got a lot of big names coming up. We got a... Why did it say Elvinus was re-signed? We haven't even signed the dude yet. So there's a Valeno. 60 overall at 18. Yeah, that's... They... Those are hard to grow, man. Um, so he's Canadian. I don't need to sign him yet. He'll play in the juniors. I don't know if signing him helps him grow or anything like that. Like, I don't know. So I'll probably just hold off on it. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. There's still a few guys, but these are all trash. Oh, yeah. We're going to have so much room here. Let me just release some of these other trash guys here. Yeah, these guys are bad. Okay, we can sign a lot of guys here. There we go. Okay. That it? Are we good? Yes, we are. Okay, now we can go in. Yeah, we can hold off on Lamb too. It doesn't matter. We can go into the uh, free agency period. I'm just, I'm still thinking about next year. Well, he's going to want at least, oh man, they're going to want so much. Yeah, we're going to have to be picking and choosing pretty soon. Luckily, we got Seth Jones to a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's a pretty solid deal for him. Oh, man. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm already thinking about next year. We got to take care of this year first. It's going to suck next year, though, for sure. All right, let's sim to free agency. And we'll check out who's available. And we could trade away some rights and stuff like that. Or trade away some players here if we need to. I'm thinking we should trade Stolarz's rights before we do much else. Because I really do think that Neuverth is a better backup. We have him signed for longer. We could trade either of them. But I think I'd rather hold on to Neuverth. It looks like Stolarz is kind of going back and forth and capping out. So might well, might as well go with Neuverth. He's more around Bishop's age. They may be more sturdy. And uh, yeah, he didn't seem to get too bad from sitting the entire year last year all righty so free mark edward vlasic in free agency you freaking sharks i hate you um now nah, that's about it yeah uh hornkfist Ooh, i've actually never seen hornkfist there and patty marlowe crying um <laughs> all right so that's all those are all the bigger big big ish names and we could check out potential guys. We got some room for those for sure. Uh, ooh. 23 at 80 overall. He's a sniper. <laughs> no, I'm good. Good off that. Don't have good enough defensive stats. All right. Oh, I don't see any. Okay, there's a couple good uh, potential defensemen by here. 20 at 71. That's okay. Probably like the one guy I'll sign. It's looking like it, yeah. Not too many guys hitting free agency quite yet. But I think I saw... No, no, no. Griffin Reinhardt. Uh, no, thanks. Neither of these guys really. Yeah, especially at the... Yeah, no. Kopaka. Nah. 
I need I need slightly higher overall. This guy, yeah, this guy's tendered anyway too. Yeah, not too too much here. But there's a few options here. Like I can get Runin, Runinin, whoever that guy is. We could go with like take a chance on Cedarhold. Like they're both okay, and we did need a couple defensemen, so we could grab those guys, see what they would turn out to be. Um, other than that, though, no one really. No one. I don't see any good forward I'd even sign. Like there's literally no one. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's actually no forward that I would sign. So screw that noise. Any okay? Any goaltenders that are looking okay? I mean, I don't. We don't need goaltenders, but value is value at the end of the day. Uh. <laughs> Stellars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Domingue, no, nope, none of these. Yeah, so pretty much it. I mean, the main, the mainstay for the free agency, the main stuff you want to look at is the actual roster, role, roster players, and I don't think we haven't actually need any of them. So, yeah, we have a gr stacked defensive core. Little's the only one worth a damn here forward. Well, Hornfist, yeah, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't put him in there for Simmons or something like that we don't need to sign anyone we're we need to make trades right now is where we're at we need to make some trades and minor trades we had a, all right we're not gonna like we're not gonna go crazy but there's a couple things that do need to be adjusted I feel like and we'll be able to start addressing that so the free agency we're probably gonna be a little silent well, you know what I'm gonna just say we're gonna be silent with it I don't think we need to make any moves I'm thinking I could just sign a few of these guys here and then we can move on and check out the jumps oh yeah fuck oh i'm so bad i'm so bad at this sorry i don't think it'll be here still i don't know if it'll be here <laughs> oh, i'm so bad man i'm sorry i really i really meant to oh wait 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 there is still some okay there is still so okay there's still some we're okay all right all right so is this this should be from existing no, it doesn't look... Well, it's saying no games played now. Ah, shit. I think... I don't know. I think I messed up. Yeah, I think I did mess up. I'm a freaking idiot. My bad. I'm so bad at this. Why, why am I even playing? <laughs> okay, so I think... I don't think this is like... Growth from the year. I actually think this is like... Or it might be growth from the year. But I don't think so. Because it doesn't say like games played or time on ice or anything like that. So I think I screwed up that. And this is just growth from the off season and then they'll jump again i'm not too sure that's what i'm thinking it is i'm not too, but it's it feels like no I, it feels like i saw debrin cat like at 70 this overall when i was doing line changes so maybe i didn't mess up too horribly now evanus okay we can we can judge this one because he was playing in the juniors right from same kind of deal wow this guy he's 80 overall already I don't even think he's ever gotten that good anytime I've seen him. Okay, so if I go to here, then you could check what he's grown on. Wow, his hand die is 90. Filth. Look at his passing at 86. Puck control at 89. D-King's not good, but... His... Oh my god, look at his offensive awareness. From You dirty, dirty boy. His shot's not that great. Um, Defense is lackluster. Skating is good. Not very physical interesting okay so we're at least getting some i can at least take a look at this and get myself used to looking at it a bit more all right um passing 80 that's a not bad for a 76 offense awareness 80 so that's looking like it'll grow relatively okay discipline 85 which is really good um his slap shot his power of his shot is out of this world accuracy not very accurate um defensively is shot blocking stick checking could get better but i like where his awareness is already at 83 at 76 like that's really good quick quick on his feet and there you have it he got a little better at fighting apparently and he got stronger he does do his bench pressing and uh got not really quicker but got more agile and was able to skate for longer periods of time <laughs> all righty reflexes category that's important his glove high is really bad. Come on, Hart. Work on that glove. Double down on your weak points. All right. So, now, I, 
the thing is about this i don't know if that's like throughout the year or if it was or what if i messed up looking at the i can't know now because i already skipped all that so i do apologize if i wow lynn grew a crap ton yeah, so I do apologize for not, I, I was trying to remind myself to do it and you're probably screaming at me, but hey, we're getting it done right now, sort of. All right, um, right, I'm actually considering just signing a few of these prospects and moving on since I don't think free agency is the way to go. There's no one there that we need. Our defensive core is stacked. Our forward core will be pretty much fixed by this next year. We don't need any of these guys. And frankly, I don't want to spend my money on them. So let's just, I'll just, I'll just make the decision right now. And I think you guys will most likely agree with me that we don't really need any of those guys. So let's just sign a few of these guys that stood out. Like I'll sign both these defensemen, Cedar Holm and the other guy. They both need deals. So that's fine. They're both defensemen. They're both guys we could just have chilling in the system. We'll, plenty of depth for the future. Nothing wrong. Okay. Two guys, two teams are interested in this guy. Let me just crank it up to there. So make sure I get him. All right, we'll do those two guys, and then I think that was it. I don't think there was anything. Yeah, nothing else, really. No reds that were standing out. No forwards whatsoever. Nope, none of these. All right, so we'll sign those two guys and wait, basically, after all that, because nothing else is there. So, all right, we'll do that, and we could actually... Let me trade Stolars right now, just for something, because I don't want to advance and then have him... Uh, what am I trying to say? Damn, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh, because, yeah, like, sometimes, oops, they get automatically signed sometimes, like the tendered guys, if they don't get offers. So, let me throw them in there. We could get a little something back for them. We have a crap ton of goalies here. So, we could throw in Lamb. He's got some value on him, but it's unlikely he even gets to the point of Rusu or Carletto. I could throw him in. If any team wants one or two of them, let me check. Let me put them both in here and see if any team wants two of these guys. We might be able to get something cool for them both. I think I think they're just going to want one. Yeah. No team wants a 66 red unproven thing. Okay, now the question is, what do we want for the guy like this? Um... Maybe some kind of a prospect since we can't like a forward prospect since I think we're going to be a little short on some of these guys I And mean, we've got some guys in here, but maybe some more top nine guys. We got some top sixes we got a top nine right there We got talk who's good We have a few top nine guys sure, but I think we could use a cup. I think we could use a couple more So let me look for someone decent enough someone who kind of fits a certain Certain something that I'm looking for here. Uh, this might be tough. Yeah, I'd have to check blocks, to be honest. I would have to go with blocks. Oh, and they're not going to have anything on blocks, are they? Crap. They should. They don't... Oh, man, no one has anything on blocks. All they have are picks on blocks? Really? Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. So I'd have to... I mean, I could trade him for picks, but, like, that'd be the, just the same as tendering him and letting someone else pick him up. Okay, hold on. Ah, it's a defenseman, though. And too much value. Yeah, it's too much. Okay, so there are skaters on block here. And I'll actually check everyone. No, I'll get out of here. Nope, no one. Yeah, the guys who I feel like would have those type of players... They're, they don't have blocks of those guys on the... T yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be like that. Yeah, that sucks. Paul Martin on the block, you crazies. Uh, okay, here we go. Again, bunch of defensemen, no good top nine guys who I'm looking at. Who I'm looking for, basically. Alright, well... In that case, I might just hold off on that and let you guys chime in. Or I could pick up a guy like this. No, not good enough. Alright, keep going here. I'm just going to look at their forwards now. See if I could steal someone with low value. Even if they're not that good. 
21. I already at 78, though. Sniper, no. Mm. No, none of those. All right. Yeah, I might just uh, hold off on this. Because I was thinking about just continuing here because I wasn't really going to do anything, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone jump out, you know what I mean? And I might, you know what, I'll hold off on anything. You guys might see something that I'm missing here in free agency, so I'll give it a good go with fresh eyes. I won't even advance a day to see if we sign this guy. So we got pending offers to a couple of those youngsters here. We'll continue in the next one. I don't think we should sign anyone, but I do want to know about what I should trade Stolars for, or if we should package something, or if we should trade Simmons now, or should we wait? I was thinking about waiting till a little bit through the season to trade him, but maybe we want to trade him now, you know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let me know about all that kind of stuff. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.